But first, we are following some breaking news. Why a judge just threw out murder charges against a woman accused of killing two state troopers and another man in a crash on I-95. This is Eyewitness News at 6, and we continue to stream live on CBS News Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown in for Jessica Cartaglia. Today, Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has been inside the courtroom all day long. She just talked to Webb's attorney, we understand. So, Madeline, what did he share with this latest news? Well, good evening, Natasha and Yuki. Within the last hour, we have learned that the judge here at the CJC has dropped third degree murder charges against Jayana Webb. Her defense attorney says that the Commonwealth failed to prove that his client acted with malice, but she's still facing several other serious charges, including manslaughter, homicide by vehicle, and DUI. Earlier this morning, we spotted dozens of Pennsylvania state police troopers filing into court for the much anticipated preliminary hearing, which lasted more than five hours. Webb is charged in connection with the March 21st crash on I-95 South near the stadium complex in Philly that killed troopers Martin Mack and Brandon Siska, along with a pedestrian, Reyes Rivera Oliveras. The prosecutor today called nine witnesses to the stand, including a toxicologist who testified that Webb's blood alcohol content was 0.211, more than twice the legal limit, and that he found marijuana in her system as well. Another key witness was a trooper who testified that Siska and Mac, in a tragic twist, had pulled Webb over that fateful day for driving 113 miles an hour. But the two quickly left to respond to another emergency, a pedestrian walking on the highway. A crash reconstruction expert testified Webb was driving 78 miles an hour in a 50 five mile an hour zone when her Chevy Captiva slammed into the three men, launching them over a concrete barrier. Webb's lawyer says she apologizes for her actions. She has told me she's sorry on a number of occasions because, again, this was an accident. She would never want to kill anybody. And you heard in there, she doesn't have a criminal record. She's never been violent in her life. Um, in fact, she was a superstar track runner in, in high school. Um, she, she's, a, she's a good girl. Uh, you know, it's just... There's some issues with some drinking. Webb's lawyer says that she was initially held without bail, but we just learned that the judge has decided to give her a bail of $600,000, which, if she posts 10% of that amount, gives her the opportunity to be released from jail pending her trial. And within the last 10 minutes, we've learned that the district attorney is refiling third degree murder charges against Webb. However, a hearing will have to be held to determine whether or not those charges will be reinstated. Live in Center City, Madeline Wright, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Madeline, thank you for the update.